Welcome back, baseball fans, to the 1969-72 World Series Game 1. Hopefully you've all watched the World Series pregame show, so I won't go into a lot of that now. We'll get right into the game. One thing I did leave out is a uh, map of the uh, pitching rotation for the series, which is over here. This is an enlarged view of all the teams rotate uh, four or five man rotations. And uh, here in the World Series, the matchups for Detroit in Game 1 is Joe Coleman against Jerry Kuzman for the Mets. Then there's a day off. Then there's five straight days, two, three, four, five, and six. And the big three pitchers for both teams will go. Game 2, Mickey Lolich versus Tom Seaver. Game 3, it'll be Denny McLean versus John Matlack. And then in game four, because we had that day of rest in there, we're back to Coleman and Kuzman again. Game five are the number four starters only appearance, Les Kane versus Don Cardwell. Game six, we're back to Lolich and Seaver. Another day off, and then game seven, Joe Coleman, Jerry Co Kuzman, three, the third matchup. Also, uh, Game three starters, Denny McLean and Joe and John Matlack, would be available to come out of the bullpen in game seven. So that's the overall series pitching matchups. Today we have Coleman versus Jerry Kuzman in Shea Stadium, the World Series. Let's get it all underway. Leading off for the Tigers is Dick McAuliffe. 69 from a call off is the sky to center field. Jim Northrup, 68, is a pop to third. Al Kaline, 46, is a walk. Bill Freehand, 29, is a double to center field. Kaline, 14, 15, 16, but he doesn't run against AG, the minus three arm. It's only 13. Road, road players, he had a 14 to run with two outs. He's being held up by his third base coach. So second and third from Mickey Stanley. 2-9, let's take a look at the Mickey Stanley card. 2-9 is a single to center field. And that'll score one of the runs. Runners in the corners, two outs for Willie Horton. And he grounds it short. one nothing Tigers draw first blood in the World Series. Joe Foy leads off for the Mets. 2-2. Foul the catcher plus injury. Oh, that's not good. They lose their leadoff hitter. And so coming in for him from the bench will be Bob Heiss. He will play second base, and second baseman Wayne Garrett will move to third base. Wayne Garrett, 47, is a walk. Cleon Jones, 411, right X. This is K-Line, a 2E4, has had his struggles documented defensively. And with two outs, it's Kenny Singleton. 310 is a fly ball to right. Top of two, Norm Cash, 64 off Kuzman, bounces a short. This is Harrelson, a one, makes the play. Elliot Maddox, 1-9, is a single to left field. Trzuski, 2-8, you walk Dick Trzuski. Not a good move, Jerry, Kuzman. First and second, one out, Tigers threatening again. Lead off man McAuliffe, 4-10, lines a second. And with two outs, it's Jim Northrup, the all-star. 4-4, four, four, center X, but this is AG01 in center field. And he gobbles up that one. Detroit threatens, does not score. Only has one run with five base runners. Tommy AG, 66, off Coleman's a single, a leadoff single, beast stealer. Catcher's arms in this series, Freehand's got a minus two arm. Roseboro's got a minus one arm. Grody's got a minus three arm. Don't anticipate a lot of stolen bases particularly with Joe Foy getting hurt in the first inning. Ed Crane pool bat. 48 off Coleman is a K. Don Clendenon. 1-5 is a K. And with two outs, it's Bud Harrelson. 65, second C. Top of the third, it's Al Kaline. 1-4. Sky's the center. Bill Freehand, 69. Sky's the center. And Mickey Stanley, 110, bounces to short. Kuzman settles down finally. One zip, bottom of the third. Jerry Grody, 
two, ten. Let's take a look at Jerry Grody's card from 1969. Yeah, a miracle met and then a miracle at bat. Two, ten. Homer, 111, double. And he can't get the homer, he gets the double. All right, here's Bob Heiss in for the injured Foy. Bob Heiss, 39. That would have been a single for Joe Foy. I hate to mention that, but it would have been. 39 is a ground ball to third base. So the runner holds at second. So that was a mistake. Should have hit a ground ball to second base. Wayne Garrett, 510. Catcher's card, freehand. Is a two, ooh, two, all twos. Two minus two, E2, two, T1 and two. That looks easy to remember. And he gets a another two, foul to the catcher. It's the only two, 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 two I've ever a player I can remember at catcher. All right, so Cleon Jones with Grody still stuck at second base and two outs. One, seven, Cleon Jones. Let's take a look at his card, the team MVP. He, double one and nine, gets the double, ties the game. He had all four RBI in the deciding game in the National League Championship Series. 1-1, one, one, Ken Singleton, 69 left. All right, top of the fourth here, tight game. Willie Horton, as predicted, 59, bounces to short. This is Bud Harrelson, you're out. Norm Cash, 4-4. Four, four. Center X, this is AG, a one in center field. Makes a catch. That's a great defense. And they improved it by having Foy get hurt. So, Elliot Maddox, 1-7. Let's take a look at the Elliot Maddox card. 1-7 is Homer, 1-5. Double, and he rolls a three, and it's gone. Elliot Maddox. With uh, just three homers and 258 at-bats in 1970. And he is the Tigers' elite again. Dick Trzuski, 66. Single 111 off Kuzman is a single. <laughs> uh, the bottom of the lineup, the much maligned uh, third baseman and shortstop of the Tigers that uh, we talked long about how it makes this team weak. But they have been on base all four times. Dick McAuliffe, 2-7 is a single to center. And with two on and two outs, it's Jim Northrup. 47 is a K. All right, so Kuzman relinquishes the tie. <clears throat> and here we go again. Tommy AG, 67 is a K. Easy Ed Cranepool, 112. Fly ball to right field, B plus injury. So he is hurt. Well, Cl Clendenon will slide in to first base and they'll put Frank Johnson into right field and put Singleton at DH. So we'll do that. Here is Clendenon. 4-10 off Coleman. Bounces to third. Here is Matt Maddox, but he's a 40-37 at third base and that's a base hit. The Mets have come off of uh, <laughs> a series where the Giants third basemen were 4-37 and now they play the Tigers, and their third baseman is also a 4-37. So the Mets should know by now where to hit the ball. All right, Clendenon at first, two outs for Bud Harrelson. 34 is a fly ball to right field. Top of the fifth, Al Kaline. 37 is ball four. Bill Freehand, 57 is a K. Mickey Stanley. 37 is single dot dot. We got runners on the corners for Willie Horton. Let's take a look at Willie's card. He led the club in Homer and RBI this year in the sixth spot. With runners on the corners. I'm bringing the infield up because I see one, two, three ground ball B's on Willie's card. So we're going to do it. Bring it up for Horton. Pitch to Willie Horton. 37 is going to be single dot dot anyway. Tigers are very good against lefties. It's not good news for a Mets team that boasts two lefty starters. So you got runners in the corners with one out. Norm Cash, you're gonna keep it up. Two, three, first B, cuts the guy down at the plate. Well, that was the right move. So it's first and second with two outs and Elliott Maddox. 39, ball four, reloads the bases. 
with two outs, and Dick Trususki. This you got to get this guy out, Kuzman, in a three-one game, and he's been on twice already. Dick Trususki, the pitch. 55, you can't stop him. You can only hope to contain the 139 hitting Trzuski. Triple, one a two, single dot dot, and that's a two out, two run single. My goodness, World Series MVP Dick Trzuski. Well, long way to go. But that's a critical blow to the Mets here. 5-1, Kuzman not sharp at all. Dick McAuliffe, 45, flies a left. Well, he let the horse out of the barn there, though, after getting the fly ball to left. And Maddox and Trzuski are a perfect six on base. And the Mets, the Tigers, are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I put 13 men on in five innings off Kuzman. All right, Jerry Grody, 53, rolls first. Bob Heiss, 2-4, pops to first. And Wayne Garrett, 55, double one of 19, the double. Cleon Jones has the only RBI of the game for the Mets, 49 is a K. 5-1 in the sixth. Jim Northrup, 64, bounces a short. This is Harrelson, and he's out. Al Kaline, 1 7 to bounce to short. And William Freehand, 39 grounds. You guessed it, to short. 5 1, bottom of six. Might seem to get something going here. Kuzman's struggling today, and their offense can't figure out Joe Coleman. Ken Singleton, 42, 5 on the right. Tommy AG, 6 11, left X. Left field is Northrop, who's a 2 e 6 in left field. But a two base error by Northrop. About to say how good the Tiger defense can be, and then that happens. All right, so here is Frank Johnson in for Cranepool, who hurt himself. Let's take a look at the Frank Johnson card. Um, actually, he was a San Francisco Giant in 1970 with this card. So he's up with a runner at second and one out. The pitch to Frank Johnson. 2-8 is a base hit in a right field. A.G. 17 runner but won't challenge the minus three armor K line when you're down four. So you got runners on the corners for Clendenon. Tigers will play back looking for a double play. And here's the pitch to Don Clendenon. 1-7 is a K. And with two outs in another 1-7 here. It's Bud Harrelson. 1-6 is a ground ball to first, and the Mets strand the runners. Let's pause a moment for station identification. This is the Shrimp Trawler video channel. Este es el canal de videos de camaroneros. All right, top of the seventh. Mickey Stanley. Leading it off. 1-8 is a ground to short. Harrelson's been very busy in the field, as he often is. Willie Horton, 2-8, double one of four, base hit. Norm Cash, Jerry Kuzman's a starter nine. I know he's put a lot of guys on base, but Joe Coleman and Kuzman are both starter nines. They're going to see a lot of each other this series. Um, 34 for Norm Cash is a 3-6-3 three, three double play. Stretch time at Shea Stadium. Kind of an unsettling affair here. For Mets fans, we've been listening to the Lou Reed first LP from 72, simply called Lou Reed with the Fabergé Jay egg, I guess, on the cover there. Um, bottom of the seventh, Grody will lead off. 59 is a K. Joe Coleman was an all star for the Tigers. We previewed him how he, he's really one of the top pitchers in baseball. He's going to. He could catch, if he gets a couple wins in the series, he'll catch Juan Marichal for wins, which is really shocking for Joe Coleman fans. All right, Bob Heiss, 46, single one of 10. He lines out on a 17. And with two outs, it's Wayne Garrett. 411, first C. We'll go to the eighth. Elliot Maddox trying to go get on for the seventh time. For these bottom feeders. Flies the left. 
Trzuski, 510, catcher's card, 2e5. Well, maybe the Mets are figuring that Maddox and Drzuski are getting it out of their system here in Game 1 and are not going to get on again in the series, maybe. Dick McAuliffe, 35, the roller is second. 5-1, bottom the eighth. Is there any defense to bring in? Not particularly. Here is Cleon Jones. 53, rolls to first C. Ken Singleton, 58. Second X. McCall's 2E22. Makes the play. Tommy AG. 66. Space it. Frank Johnson. 68 is a K. The Joe Coleman Show. In game one. Giving up just one run on a couple doubles in the third. We'll go to the ninth, and Kuzman is going to. He's going to finish what he starts. Jim Northrup. 2 6. Base it. Um, a K-line freehand and Stanley. Okay. I'll pitch to K-line. 38, ball four. I think we've seen enough. Okay. Eight and a couple batters. Jerry does not have his stuff today. And you got the dangerous freehand Stanley and Horton coming up. That's going to be problematic because I fear the uh, we, we will get the Gates Brown sighting here. <laughs> so... Acosta will come on in the ninth for freehand. And the pitch to Bill Freehand. 58 is a second X. This is Heiss at second base, a two. He's, and that's a double play. 4 6 3 double play. Runner goes a third for Mickey Stanley. He's not going anywhere. 37 is a K. So. Acosta prevents any further damage. We go to the bottom of the ninth. Hiller's warming if needed. It'll be Clendenon, Harrelson, Grody, and then the top of the lineup. Here's Don Clendenon. 2-7 is a base hit. Bud Harrelson. 65 off Coleman is a roller to second base C. Runner goes to second for Jerry Grody. One for three with a run scoring double. 2-9, again, same column we saw earlier. Triple 1-9, uh, single the rest, and he gets the single. And that is an RBI. And if we can just break Coleman, we might have a chance here if we're the Mets fans. So, it is 5-2. Grody's on it first. And it's Bobby Heiss. The pitch to Bobby Heiss. 65 is, ooh, short X. Oh boy, this is Trzuski here. <laughs> Your player of the game is a 2E36 at shortstop, and this could be the end of the game or the beginning of a rally. The, here's the result on the 2E36 at short. It's an error on Trzuski, and the Mets have something going here. Okay. We didn't think any of these games were going to be particularly easy for either team. So we have two on and one out. The error doesn't break Coleman. And... It does, however, bring the tie run to the plate in the presence of Wayne Garrett. Now, in what you could probably do here and get away with, because Foy got hurt and Garrett would have to bat, because he's the only third baseman on the team, logic suggests, let me just make sure any of these other Mets can play third base. Yeah, logic suggests you hook Coleman He's going to break anyway, but hook him now and bring in Hiller to face the lefty Garrett. So that's what they're going to do. So Hiller comes in. So the normal rotation is Foy plays a whole game, and then Bobby Heiss pinch hits for Wayne Garrett when a lefty comes in. But Heiss is already into the game for the injury. So that's the maneuver the Tigers are going to make. Hiller comes on in the ninth to face Wayne Garrett. with runners at first and second and one out. The pitch, let's take a look at Wayne Garrett's card. You can see it doesn't hit lefties very well. So, just stay out of a double play, Wayne. Make sure Cleon gets to come to the plate in the ninth as a strategy. The pitch to Wayne Garrett. Two, seven is a K. That would have been the next on base on that card if he was even a little bit better hitter. So, it'll come down to Cleon Jones, John Hiller, I wouldn't expect anything else. 
<laughs> with two on and two outs in the bottom of the ninth of a 5-2 game. We'll take a look at Cleon Jones' card again. And uh, here we go. The pitch to Cleon Jones. 6-11 off Hiller is a first X. Actually, that's Cash. He's very capable as well. The Tiger defense is much better than the Giants defense that the uh, Mets just played in their recent series. Cash is a 2-9 at first base. But he gets a single off the two. And then a load the bases. Wow. A cheap single off of Norm Cash. Didn't quite let the ball roll through his legs like Buckner. But uh, anyway, the bases are loaded with two outs. And it's Ken Singleton. Now, interestingly, <laughs> he cannot tie this game down three because he doesn't have a... Take a look at Singleton's card. It's all singles against lefties and all power against righties. So Singleton will bat here with the bases loaded in two outs. Oh, I could pinch hit Pat Corrales, couldn't I, since he's in DH. Well, let me see. Corrales, does he have power? He has doubles on his card, though. Nah, we'll leave it alone. Singleton has been a star this year for the Mets. He will bat. Bases loaded, two outs in the bottom of the ninth of a 5-2 game. Here's the pitch. 4-10 off Hiller is third X. The black hole of defense of the Detroit Tigers. He's a 4. E37. Don't have to roll anymore. He makes the error. So, another error after a hit off a of defense, an error off the of defense. That scores Grody. Loads the bases. You have Heiss at third. Cleon Jones, the tie run at second. Kenny Singleton, the winning run at first base. And you got Tommy A.G. walk into the batter's box and gulp. You got to be concerned if you're the Tigers here. Do you pull your closer in this particular situation and go Timmerman? In a 5-3 game. Let's look at that. Tommy A.G. card. You see more power against lefties. But... But uh, it's got fewer hits, which is a good thing. A walk wouldn't be a bad gig. I think he just, much like Tug McGraw would stay in the game, I think you have to stay with Hiller here. And who's on deck? Frank Johnson's on deck, and then, yeah. So here, he will. Leave, they will leave Hiller, he is the closer, in the game. The bases loaded and two outs in the bottom of the ninth of a 5-3 game to face Tommy A.G. Here is the pitch to Tommy A.G. 2-8, Tommy! Triple one of three, single dot dot. It's a triple on the one. The Mets walk the thing off in the bottom of the ninth. Triple one to three, single dot dot. Now against the righty, it's double one to six, single dot dot. That would have tied it. Because it would have put second and third in a 5-5 game. But it's triple, one to three, triple. It rolled probably underneath the Mickey Stanley's glove, I'm guessing. In center field, it rolled all the way to the wall for a three-base hit to walk this thing off. One of the most exciting walk-offs when you see the uh, merry-go-round and all the runners run the bases. Tommy A.G., a three-run triple in the bottom of the ninth in game one of the World Series. And the Tigers are stunned here. Unbelievable. So Hiller got the one guy out. And now the Tigers are thinking maybe we should go bullpen by committee. Use Hiller against Garrett, the lefty only. And then go to Tom Timmerman, which they haven't done all year really. Timmerman is having a great year. But unfortunately... The improbable happens. In an improbable game, you've got Maddox and Trzuski reaching six times. Then in the ninth inning, you get an error of Trzuski, an error of Maddox to make up for all their success. Norm Cash gets up a single. And AG gets a triple one to three on his own card, which is ridiculous. The final is six to five. Let's do the quick box here. And then, uh, so Acosta gets the win in relief. He gave up a double play ball and a K after Kuzman labored. No decision for Kuzman. 
11 hits and 5 runs. And all of that was earned. 5 walks, 2 strikeouts. Hiller came on in the ninth. He does get the loss. Not Coleman. He gets the loss. That is, they were unearned runs. Two hits, two unearned runs, and a strikeout. Coleman did everything else. Another no decision. Nine hits, four runs. Yeah, that first run uh, was on an error, so that's unearned also. So none of that in the ninth was earned. So only one earned run in the whole game in the third inning. A walk and seven strikeouts. One below nine, oh one, oh eight and two thirds, six eleven, five eleven. Five three one eight one eight five three. And that is World Series Game One is in the books. A stunner already to start. The Mets were given up for dead, and that really was a miracle, my goodness. Norm Cash is an outstanding defender. And he gave up a single because he's a two at first base. Jim Northrup gave up a, a hit as a two in left field. And of course, we know about Elliot Maddox and Drzewski there. So that is it. Year to date for the two squads. Like, it doesn't really matter that much. The Mets get their 30th win. They're 30 and 16. Team ERA is 316, hitting 255. Mets got their 20, uh, Tigers got their 26th loss. Which is really strange for a World Series team. Hitting 251 with a 351 ERA. All right, that's it today. And the World Series will continue tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in.